is Caroline Raven, welcome back to my channel. Last year, 2019, I decided to do a 52 week giveaway challenge where I challenged myself to every day, well not every day, like every week, every day, that'd be amazing. Oh my God, during these Corona times, I should do a daily, no I should not, I don't have the time for that. Do I have the time for that? Oh, that would be so much fun. If I did a daily deck review, would you guys watch it? Let me know in the comments below. I did a video every Friday where I reviewed one deck of playing cards. I think I reviewed my own stuff like three or four times, which was, you know, okay, I guess, because it's my channel on my side. Last couple of months, I've been getting a lot of questions about why I stopped doing it. There are a couple of reasons. Reason number one, <laughs> and my battery ran out and then I hurt my thumb. But now, because of, well, Corona, go wash your hands. If you haven't washed your hands before this video, please do. I mean, stay safe and, uh, you know, don't touch my face. I'm the only person who's allowed to lick my face. Did I say that? I did. What we're doing today is we're gonna be talking about a new deck of cards that I have not opened yet. I don't know how old it is. I think I got it last summer. I haven't seen many people out there who are using this, so I thought it would be fun to go through it and see what I think. So Sweden is one of those countries where we don't have like a strict lockdown or anything. But to prepare for that, I moved in with my boyfriend. I brought my most important thing, my playing cards in the back, and uh, I have my, you know, good spirits. I will be doing a deck review today. I just realized I don't know the name of this. Monte, Monte Core? Blank. It looks like this. I don't know if you guys have seen, but there's this uh, video of a tiger documentary on Netflix going on right now. I thought it would be suiting to do actually do this one, but we'll see. So that's the front of the deck, and it looks really, really cool. There's a, like a... Chinese symbol or something up here. I do hope that's not racist or anything because I mean I don't know which sign it might might as well be something else It could be like I don't know if anyone knows what that means Hit me up and then we have a tiger with blue eyes Can you guys see that and then on the bottom it says playing cards how original printed by Cartamundi and it's to save the tigers on the bottom it says concept by Benjamin Liu illustrated by Ido Huang co-produced by Cardvo. On the top it has the name of the cards one more time. Um, 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 um. It's been such a long time I don't really know if I remember how to do this. Come on Caroline, you can do it. You can do it. Where is the opening? Wait, found it. It's right there. <laughs> oh. Really? Okay. Right, so let's... Ooh. Mm. I almost dropped it. So the box is very, very soft, very basic, very standard, but still it has some very nice uh, like feel to it. You can see here how it actually shimmers the box. And we have some gold foil here and some gold foil on the front as well. So on the flap we have a message. The world is a jungle. You either fight or run forever. <laughs> E-H-B-L. They are wrapped inside. Let's do the Cartamundi way. This is so satisfying how everything is just one piece. It's a small things in life really, isn't it? I'm guessing these are a B9. Yes, definitely a B9. So what we can see is that you see all of the red cards, they have a black uh, black number up here. You see that? It's very nice, we have different numbers, different fonts. As you can see, the pips are slightly smaller than we're used to and the numbers are different than we're used to. I actually like them. Now, we can see all of the chord cards have been changed, but first, the ace of spades. Really nice. And we have a tiger walking around the spade. Take a look at that. And while we're looking at this card, why don't we take a look at the back as well? This is as we could see on the box. So what we have are two tigers up here. They do indeed have the blue eyes here as well. Not sure you can catch this in camera. You can see there's a tiger with an eye here, eye here. Eye of the tiger. We have tigers up here, tigers up here, tigers up here, tigers here. The double backer, but this is another back. It's actually really, really nice. If we take a look closer, you see that the tiger in here also has colors on the eyes. And then we have an ad card. The finest selections of collector playing cards, cardvo.com. A joker that looks like this. And it says MMXV11. That should be, wait, you can do this, Caroline. You can do this. 2005, 2017. Boom. And then we have an extra card that says, thank you for your purchase of Montecore Blanc. Blank. Blanc? I don't know. Blank. When we first launched Montecore playing cards in 2015, 
there were less than 3,200 tigers left in the wind. The numbers have since risen to about 3,890. It's the first time the number has grown after a century of decline. Oh my gosh. By buying this deck, a portion of sales will be donated to WWFSG to help if help efforts to further increase the population of these big cats. That's so nice. Look at, look at this. That's amazing. That is amazing. All of the aces have tigers on them. The ace of hearts, isn't that cute? And the diamond with the kitty cat, either walking up or down, I'm not sure. I'm thinking down maybe. And then the clubs. This is my favorite. I think this is really cute. Take a look at the space. The hearts, the clubs, and then we have the diamonds. What happened with the sun? The sun just said goodbye. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You have been the one. You have been the one for me. Whatever happened to James Blunt? Now we're gonna try these cards out. Okay, yeah, definitely B9. Boom, boom, and boom. Gone. Boom. A couple of things. I actually like this deck very much for a couple of reasons. Reason number one, I really like the artwork. I like how they use all of the aces to create room for the tigers. I like the box very much. It's very, very nice with the golden foil. I also like the idea of having a donation going directly to the tigers. That's amazing because, well, tigers are maybe not my like number one favorite animal, but definitely in the top five. My number one favorite animal in the world, don't laugh at this, is a puffin bird. How cute is a puffin bird? One thing that I kind of was hoping that they would not go to would be the ad card. I do understand it for like marketing reasons to keep production costs down, especially when you're doing a deck like this. It's important to use the full capacity. When I was going through this deck, I was thinking, hmm, I don't know what this is. Like when I found it in my, in my box of cards, because it's a huge box of cards, I was like, I'm not sure I'm gonna like this. As I was playing around with it, I actually found this to be a really, really nice piece of art. I mean, take a look at this. Look at that shimmer. It's really, really nice. So before we end this video, I wanted to give a big thank you to Jeff Richardson, who was my very first Patreon. It's amazing. I don't know if you guys know this, but I work full time as a magician. Because of the virus, I don't have anything to do. So I decided to do a Patreon and I decided to open a web shop to like have my business actually keep rolling during this time. In 48 hours, I lost all of my work like all of my work, which was very, very scary. I'm very lucky to have a big support team that's helping me out during this time. So a big thank you to Jeff for being my very first Patreon. So I decided to do these giveaways a little different this time. So the only way to be able to be part of the giveaway is by being one of my Patreons. I know that sounds sucky for those who've been part of this for the last year. During the situation, I cannot give them all away as I did last year. That was very expensive, you guys. Really, really expensive. So I decided to do it that way instead. I do hope you understand. So it's gonna be a 24 hour giveaway contest on the Patreon. So it's gonna end April 4th, 7 p.m. Viking time. That was it for today. I do hope you have a very, very nice weekend and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.